Good day everybody, Gerdy Verwoerd here, their Greatly Guiding Coach. And today is day two, tip two of the series, in the series, about how to safely hike mountains, especially when you, when you want to do it solo or when you are uh, going, um, just dis when you're just discovering mountain hiking. So tip two of uh, the series is research your trail. If you watched the video from yesterday, tip one was pick a popular trail and you might think, well, when I've chosen a popular trail, I don't have to do any real research, now do I? You are mistaken, because that's what I thought. I picked a popular trail and if you've seen, uh, if you've taken the time to watch my, my first um, video of the series, you will uh, know how that ended or how that almost ended. Um, I can tell you I hiked that trail again last year and you can bet your bottom dollar I researched it I knew exactly what was going what I was going uh, up against so research your trail how do you do that there's all kinds of sources these days especially uh, when you have access to the internet so um, Usually when there's popular trails, go, to, go onto the internet, just give in the name of the trail and you will likely find a description of it. Uh, in blog posts, on the sites of uh, tourist boards, um, on the sites of cabins that are along those trails. Usually cabins are very um, happy or very diligent about posting on their websites uh, what hikes you can do to get to the cabin or around the cabin if you spend the night there so those are good sources then there's google earth once you've decided which trail you want to uh, to hike go onto google earth and zoom in it's amazing how much detail you can get um, on on what a level of detail you can zoom into and the nice thing about um, Google Earth is that you then can see where it is level, where it goes down, where it goes up again. It's, uh, you know, where there's roads that, that you need to cross, uh, whether or not you are going to, um, um, what do you call it, uh, hike, uh, cross uh, brooks or rivers or whatever. So there's amazing amount of detail to be gotten from that source. Then there's, of course, um, usually popular trails are often also described in um, hiking guides so if you're um, going on a popular trail especially in a um, in an area that is a quite a popular um, tourist destination you will find likely find a hiking guide that will describe your um, the trail of your choice and usually in those it says um, where to start, how long it will take you, what, how difficult to train is, all those kinds of things you can find in a hiking guide. And oftentimes it's even, you know, it's, uh, it's described at a level of detail that it will be hard for you to get lost if you follow the description of the trail. And then there's uh, maps. My, my personal favorite maps, I love a good hiking map because of all I just get excited when I see how many trails there are that I haven't hiked yet. So, on a hike, get a hiking map, get, uh, usually at a scale of, um, my preference is 1 to 50,000, so every centimeter on the map is 500 meters in uh, reality. And then um, a hiking map has details on it that a map that you use for car driving or uh, any other bigger skill than the one I just mentioned hasn't gotten on it. Look at the index so you know what all the different uh, squiggly lines on that map mean. Find your trail and start research, start tracing it. Start. It will tell you where it is level, whether or not you're in the forest, whether or not um, you're going up or down, whether or not it's steep, where there's cabins along the trail, when you get to those cabins, all those kinds of things you can get from a map. And at some later point, I will also tell you where, hi, where you can get a, um, or how you can calculate 
from a map how long it will take you to uh, get from to, to hike your trail so once you've picked the trail that you want to hike do me a favor research it don't make the same mistake I did on my first solo hike and uh, end up somewhere on your bum or worse all right so that's it for now as always go there greatly and I'll be talking to you again tomorrow bye